again coming to you from broadcast team alpha i want to talk a little bit about what is love how do we use it to heal and create good and wonderful things in our life we hear love is the most powerful force in the universe i've heard that said from many people, I even say that. But are those just words or is there something to that behind the words? There's a can of worms somewhere here uh, ready to be opened. So let's see if we can tip the lid off of it. To understand this, we should really know what love is. We think we do, but most people really doesn't understand the whole concept of it. Here's a pearl for you. Shortly before he died, Albert Einstein said in an interview, I have studied the universe more than most, and I have found that this whole universe is made from the vibration of love. Hmm. Yes, the vibration of love is the universal force which creates everything there is in its many different expressions and forms that we observe. It is an intelligent energy and it recognizes its own vibration and energy in others' thought forms, images, and other things, and will try to merge with it, fulfill it, complete it, heal it, and make it perfect in anything or anyone where it is welcome and have a matching vibration. Love is a healing energy. It is a completing energy. It is whole and perfect. When this vibration of love is concentrated in you, you have a stronger and more open connection to the source of all things. I have also called it the universal storehouse of creative energies. By adding the feeling of love to whatever you do, it becomes easier for you to communicate with the universal consciousness, easier to request things that you already are. Or it becomes easier for the universal consciousness or the universal storehouse of creative energies to create good things around you, even if you don't ask for it because you will have in your life people, things, situations equal to and of the same vibration of thoughts and actions you are putting out. You see, you are drawing to you what you are 
and not always or necessarily what you want or ask for. Now, if you are of the vibration of what you ask for, then watch out. You just might get it. Make sure you ask for the right things. We hear that we can send love to someone as a healing energy or in attempt to manifest things using law of attraction. It seems to work better if we are filled with the feeling of love and send the feeling of love to where we are trying to manifest things or who we want to help at a distance, maybe by sending them love. As we also see ourselves already successful in what we want to have accomplished. But how do we develop that feeling, vibration of love in our body and our mind? Nobody talks about that. It's not that easy. It's not the word that we say or even the visualized images we think of that is the most important part. It's the whole package with the developed vibration and feeling of love in our mind and a sensation of already having and experiencing what we ask for, living it, feeling it, being in it, doing it, or being it, seeing other people enjoying it with you, knowing what good it will do for everybody and everything you involved in it. That is the important part. Now, to develop the vibration and the feeling of love, it's not easy. We can't just sit down and say, I'm going to feel love now. Good luck with that. As the saying goes, it is probably easier to teach your cat how to bark. No, there is some methods you can use. We have to think of someone or something so intently that we experience it with visualized images, intention, the feeling of it. We may have different ways of doing this, but the way I do it is by thinking of someone that I love. I think of my mom. That works for me. She's not physically with us anymore, but she visits. And you can do the same. I don't care how many times your mom spanked you for pouring paint on your little brother's head. We always love our mom. So uh, this is what I do to create the feeling and vibration of love in the body and in my mind. I think of my mom. I think of her standing in front of me. I hold out my hands towards her. I visualize her taking my hands and I look at her face and tell her, I love you, mom. I say, I love you. I love you over and over and over again. And it start building up that emotional feeling in me. And it doesn't take long. It almost comes in a few seconds. This emotional feeling of love is not just a thought anymore. It is an energy. The universal creative life force energy. 
as an extension of us. I can create from the quantum reality into the physical doing this. And we do it all the time on our mastermind that Manori and I put together. Now, when I have this emotional feeling of love in my mind, I can transfer that energy to someone else or something else that I'd like to create and manifest. The energy following our emotional feelings can be directed because it can follow in the direction of our attention. When I have built up this energy and the emotional feeling of love in my mind, I suddenly switch my attention from my mom to the other person or the other thing that I want to create. Now the energy will follow my attention and flow in the direction of the other person or the other thing that we're trying to manifest. That will also receive the flow of creative love energy. This is the technical explanation of the flow of energy talked of in quantum mechanics. Energy at any level do never, do not disappear. When you create this energy in your mind, spiritual love energy in your mind, it has to go somewhere instead of letting it dissipate into space-time, you direct it to go somewhere to create for you or to help someone or to give it to someone else for the higher good. Different people, they can do it in different ways to develop this feeling in their mind and if you have a method that works for you, don't do anything different. If it works, don't fix it. Whatever way you do it, I recommend for you to keep doing it if you feel that it works. Because the universe listens. And don't be impatient. Time of itself in the physical is the wild card. For things to get done, there may be arrangements that has to be done or agreements you did before you came here that has to be dealt with. New programs and situations may have to be created for it to be created in the physical with you, all done on the outside of the physical. So it's not all simple. It can be, and it can be quick. But don't be too impatient. Just keep doing it. This is actually the best of spiritual science. I hope it made a little bit of sense to you. Um, maybe watch it again and go try it. If you are watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe and check the bell so you can get a notification when the next videos or shows are coming up. And... Until then, see you in the next video.
Thank <laughs> you.